Second key on your work uh, sheet is to take inventory of your unique gifts. Now, I don't know what this does in your mind, you know, um, but everyone has unique gifts. Um, we call these our natural resources. Your gifts, your talents, the things you're passionate about. The passion is an important thing because those things are within you for a reason. They are intended to be used. They're intended to be exercised or put to work in your life. And we believe that the gifts that we've been given are intended to, to build up our families, to build up our community, um, to make the world a better place in some way, as Scripture says, for the common good. We think it's there for a reason. Everyone has unique gifts. And one of the, you know, one of the discoveries that is so vital for us to make is to understand and realize what ours are. The next one is when we operate in the area of our gifts, things come naturally to us. If we excel in the areas of our excellence, and those that are enlightened enough to recognize that and do that are setting themselves up for success. And many of you in the room are very young, but for those of us that are not so young, uh, uh, you, know, you know a lot of people that get into their 40s and their 50s and they, and, and they don't like what they do. And they're very, very unhappy. People end up places because they know somebody or they got a job and, and next thing they know... They're in a place that they don't recognize and they don't know how they got there. Now, you know, we should always make the most of what we have, but, but the truth is we believe uh, it is essential in order for us to be happy, to excel, and to thrive in what we're doing is to do these things, to assess these things. What are you passionate about? What are you gifted at? Um, the fourth key is to visualize your dream. <clears throat> Visualization is so important because we must learn to both see it and feel it. Because it's really true, you must learn to see the end that you want. Even feel the emotion of it. Because the mental exercise of visualizing your end result daily will increase your faith. It will increase your, your confidence, your, your belief in it coming to be. Jesus said, according to your faith, it will be done for you. That's right. He wasn't just talking about religious stuff. Yeah. Okay? Oh, there's a great expression here, and I want you to write this down. It's not on your outline. Uh, the landmark author, Napoleon Hill, who, who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich in 1935, he also wrote the Success Principles before that, and he's the forerunner of many of the books that are out today. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Now, Hill was a deeply spiritual man. But this is so true, and God has given us this ability. This is not outside of him. It is with him. How is it that, that somebody can, can imagine something into being? What Dina skipped over is that her vision was realized. It took eight years from the age of 14 to 22. But she was that pretty young girl with long dark hair with the business suit driving the red sports car. Don't miss that fact. Her vision became her reality because she never let go of it. 